Okay, global explosion of travel, global explosion of knowledge. How about weather gone wild? Look what Jesus said in the same sermon, only Luke's version of it. On the earth, distress of nations, perplexity. The sea and the waves are going to be roaring. And look at verse 26, one of my favorite Greek words describing prophecy. And people's hearts will fail them from fear. And the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. That's saying people are going to be like this. And they're going to be looking at those clips, and they're going to be looking at the tornadoes, and they're going to be looking at the earthquakes, and they're going to be looking at those tsunamis that are coming, and, and they're going to be looking at the, the meteorite showers or whatever they're seeing on their feed. And this word right here, heart failing, do you know what the Greek word? You ought to do whatever you do in Logos and right click it. The word is apsuko, suke like psychology, psychologist, okay? It's, it's your inside spirit. Ap, apo, the, the Greek preposition means out from. It means people's life will pop out of them. In other words, they're just going to die of fear on the spot. They're going to apsuko. Wow. This is what the NOA, uh, a National Oceanic and Atmospheric association or administration i guess it is they are just charting from 1980 to 2020 the droughts the freezes the cyclones the wildfires the winter storms severe storms the flooding it's amazing what did jesus say he says that there will be earthquakes and famines and pestilences and signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and perplexity and the sea roaring and it's going to scare people now, watch this. This was just last year. That's a satellite image from the NOAA. Come on, do it again. There we go. Look at this. This is a Derrico. This is uh, one of the Great Lakes right there. So that's Chicago right there, and this is Michigan. And this Derrico is straight line winds. I, didn't even, I was headed to a Word of Life board meeting. And we stopped in Iowa, and we had been driving for an hour toward where we were going. And I said, honey, look at the cornfields are all down. I didn't even know they had this. Up like 60 miles of cornfields were all laying down in August. I mean, they couldn't harvest them. They're supposed to harvest them standing up. They were flattened completely by that thing. And that was, that was just a blip. Widespread damage to millions of acres of corn and soybeans across central Iowa. Wow. Okay, number four, explosion of global communications. I already told this to you. Uh, Revelation 11, it says, and those from the peoples, tribes, tongues, and nations. Who else are there? This is the whole world. You describe the world from first century perspective by all the peoples, all the tribes, all the tongues, all the nations. Everyone in the world will see something that was not possible until modern times in fact it really wasn't possible till what year did the iphone start oh seven i think oh nine oh seven the first time people had portable electronic devices that received and transmitted video look yesterday facebook live 4 30 p.m yesterday the dark blue are all the people that are looking at video on Facebook. I know. I didn't get WhatsApp, and I didn't get whatever all the other ones are, you know. Just Facebook. You know, old, mostly old people Facebook. But look at this. From New Zealand all the way through the Aleutian Islands and the, the, all the way up here, even in the, the peninsula of Russia, they're all watching videos. And look at all the green ones. The green ones are people that are transmitting live streaming. Unbelievable. In fact, I think that a lot of the events in Revelation are going to be watched as people are going, oh, oh. and they're, they're filming, you know, the demon coming out of the pit, or they're filming the angel coming down. And, and it's going to be seen by everybody live. Amazing. 